So I'm here with Pertec Racing driver Martin Depper. So Martin, you have already raced in the BTCC before. You raced in a BMW back at Silverstone. Yeah, back in 2010 with my good friend Arthur Forster. Uh, that was our first step into touring cars. Uh, didn't quite go according to plan. There were a lot of challenges, of course. It's always a big step for any new team sort of moving up to that level. Um, but yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it and, and got the bug. So yeah, I've always had it in my mind to come back at some point. And 2014, we've been fortunate enough to make it back. Um, do you think there's any big tasks in the touring cars? Um, well, with the grid that we've got this year in 2014, it's a huge task, isn't it? With so many talented drivers that are out there. So, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to be a part of it. Uh, I'm with a great team, Pertec Racing, and, and, and Andrew Jordan's a teammate. Everybody's got to be happy with that, especially me. Um, so, yeah, I'm in, I'm in a great position, really. So, it's going to be an exciting year. Um, and it's very much, really, I keep sort of saying to a lot of people, uh, it's all about down to me, really. So, it's how much I can dig deep uh, and try and, you know, sort my focus out and and really push with my determination to get up to get up there really do you have any targets for the season yes i do but i do keep them a secret uh no i think like every racing driver in the in the touring cars um you know first is to score points of course and then everybody wants to be at the sharp end uh, i'm i'm no different but as i mentioned there's a lot of talented drivers out there seven champions back this year so uh you know i totally understand it's going to be a, a big challenge but one I'm up for and one I'm looking forward to. So, yeah, wouldn't it be great if I can achieve it? Have you done much testing in pre-season? Yes, we've done about half a dozen, six or seven tests this year. So it's allowed me to get used to the Honda Civic uh, and get used to the, sort of the, the, you know, the settings of the car. Um, braking is the big difference between the S2000 and, and the new generation touring cars. Um, but yeah, that's coming useful and we've, we've, you know, I'd like to think we've got up to speed. Um, obviously today in the... Uh, in the um, official tests, we just uh, that was my first run, so you know, 15th place, my first run. I haven't got up to speed yet, so I'm quite happy. I should be able to break into the top 10 today if we get some dry running. Are there any tracks on the calendar that you're a bit sort of nervous, or you're not, you don't normally do very well around? Um, no, I, I like most tracks, although the interesting one for me this year is going to be Knock Hill. I've never raced there before, so uh, that'll be an interesting one. I've got to get up there beforehand and, and do some sort of track day so I can familiarise myself with the track. Uh, but it's, uh, it's quite a short track and obviously quite uh, undulating with the, with the hills and everything. So that'll be an interesting one, which, um, yeah, I think is going to be a challenge for myself to get to grips with this year. Have you found any advantages in the Civic? Uh, well, for me, I started in the Mini Challenge back in 2005, so I've always been, I'd like to think, uh, brought up on, on front-wheel drive cars. Uh, when we, we jumped into the uh, rear-wheel drives, um, sort of, you know, took me a bit of time to get used to that. But yeah, I'm, I'm more happy in the front-wheel drive. I can sort of drive it, the, you know, the, with the characteristics that I like. Um, and yeah, well, hopefully it suits me. Okay, thanks for your time, Martin. Good luck for the season. Thank you very much.